um, got my business off the ground was not waiting around to put something out. So I just, when I came up with the idea, I started cobbling together a website very quickly, well straight away actually, and I put my student loan into it and I turned it out for about a thousand pounds. So it was very small, very quickly sort of processed, there was no hanging about. I think the biggest mistake I see entrepreneurs making quite a lot of the time is waiting too long and you know, revising and revising their business plan and thinking too much about you know, how it's all going to work and not just chucking something out there and seeing what people think. Um, this, the other big thing I think not to do is to uh, sort of outsource all the work and, and, and you know, you've got to keep it quite close to home. I employed my own programmer off the University Job Board. And so being at a networking event today, what would you say is your uh, best networking tip? Best networking tip? Um, I think, um, like anything, you know, being being pretty sort of laser focused rather than scattergun is probably a good way to, to meet people. I mean, I when I tried to get advisors around my business, I tended to think about the one thing that could really, really benefit my business, perhaps marketing advice that I couldn't afford to pay for. So I actually focused in on the one person who, who might be able to help me, who was the best at it that I felt I could approach, and then really went for them and, and sold uh, the business story to them as best I could, rather than say, you know, targeting a hundred different people.